Hello and welcome back. This is exercise one of problem set number six of group theory. My name is Thomas and in this exercise we are going to investigate the two-dimensional square lattice. This is the first Brillouin zone of our two-dimensional square lattice. This is the kx direction, this is the ky direction. Here we have the gamma point and here is the x point. As you should note already, the little group, uh, the point group corresponding to the little group of our distinct points over here, named the x point and the comma point is C2V and C4V. And I already noted the uh, character table of these two point groups and if you don't know how to construct them please go back a few videos and go through the, tut the tutorials to how to construct character tables. It's good to know that otherwise this exercise does, doesn't make any sense. So let's move on. Concerning the x point, we have two different k vectors, k directions. In kx direction, we have the k vector pi over a, and in ky direction, we have zero. So this gives us a basis with two different plane wave functions. There we have wave functions which give us our, a, a basis for our two-dimensional representation, which is e to the i pi over ax and e to the minus i pi over ax. Because of course we can have a here a plus minus. This basis is a basis for our two-dimensional representation, as I said, and we want to check how these basis vectors transform under our group operations over here to construct matrices and determine the trace of these matrices. The traces then give us the characters for our representation and we can then uh, use that information via the decomposition theorem to see out of which irreducible representations our two-dimensional representation here is constructed out of. So, okay, let's do it. The identity element, if this gives us a basis vector 1, 0, and this gives us a basis vector 0, 1, the identity element, of course, leaves our two elements invariant. If we mirror at the x plane, of course, because our matrix, our basis vectors contain only x's, we are left with the same matrix over here rotating by 180 degrees uh, gives uh, yields k to the minus k and therefore our basis vectors just switch partners. Same is true for the mirror plane in y direction. Therefore our representation x of 0 0.25 is nothing gives us characters here 2, 0, 2, 0. Via the decomposition theorem we can conclude that x 0 0.25 consists out of x1 and x3. You can see that by looking at the character table. To construct uh, symmetry of the dead wave functions, we use the projector technique. For example, projecting our first basis vector onto the xy irreducible representation yields us something proportional to cosine pi over ax. Projecting onto x3 gives us sine of pi over ax. So this is it for the x point, let's move on to the gamma point. At the gamma point we can write our kx and ky as plus minus 2 pi over a in both directions. The translations are here omitted in the character table because the only physical representations are coming from the characters or including the translations are those with character 1. Those with other characters are infysical. Please go back to your notes if this is unclear. Therefore we only note the point group over here. Again these two, these four different k vectors give us four different wave functions, plane wave functions. 
which again serve as a basis e to the 2 pi i over ax, e to the minus 2 pi i over ax, e to the 2 pi i over ay, e to the minus 2 pi i over ay. We denote this one as 1, 0, this one as 1 bar, 0, this is 0, 1, and this is 0, 1 bar, so we don't write much. Please remember this basis is 4-dimensional, therefore applying the identity element gives us ones on the di diagonal, a matrix with only ones on the diagonal, four of them. This notation is for later purposes. When rotating by a quarter, x and y wave functions switch partner, but they switch partners in a different manner. Please be careful. Here, 2 pi i over a x switches to e to the minus 2 pi i over a y, and e to the 2 pi i over a y switches to e to the uh, e to the 2 pi i over a x. So. This is interesting to note. C2 gives us again the same pattern as with the representation of our x point, namely one this kind of pattern. And the reflection plane, uh, we have two different reflection planes. We have the, the reflection at our axis. We only write down one of these matrices because we want to determine the trace. And the trace is a class function, therefore we don't have to investigate the other matrices. Uh, reflections at the x-axis leave our bases with x in it, invariant, and the bases with y switch partners among themselves and the reflection planes among the diagonal gives us again zeros on the diagonal because we switch partners over here again. Okay, this is our gamma uh, energy equal to one representation. And looking at these matrices give you, gives you characters four, zero, zero, two, zero. And via the decomposition theorem, you can deduce that our gamma e equal to one representation consists out of gamma one, gamma three, and gamma five. Constructing symmetry adapted wave, wave functions is again easier, and here we use our notation over here to make it seem more obvious. Projecting onto gamma one, our vector one zero gives you all four different basis vectors and they add up. Projecting onto gamma 3 and doing a similar calculation gives you e to the minus 2 pi i over a x minus e to the i 2 pi over a y. The interesting part is here our gamma 5 representation projecting onto it with 1 0 gives you something proportional to 2 times 1, 0, minus 2 times 1 bar is 0. And this, of course, you can recognize as the sine of 2 pi over a x. Projecting 0, 1 onto gamma 5 gives you just the same pattern and therefore sine of 2 pi over a y. These are the basis functions again. Here you have it. And here you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.